I've been in love with the CZ75 design ever since the first time I ever picked up a TZ75 that was made in Italy by Tenfaglio. Since that time, which those pistols were decent pistols, but not anywhere near the quality of the original CZ75s. And at that time, you couldn't buy a CZ75 here in the U.S. These were not imported into the U.S. because of communist bloc uh, importation bans. So this has been an enigma with many of the early American shooters, especially when semi-autos really started coming into their own. Now I've done reviews on a number of CZs, and what I want to do today is just talk about the difference between the CZ75B which this happens to be my brother's and once he bought one and I did a review on it I have loved these pistols ever since and now own a, a quite a few of these pistols now of course the first thing we're gonna do is just go ahead and safety check each of these guns and they are unloaded but we're gonna look at the basic CZ75B compared to the compact CZ75 and this particular one is the PCR this is their lightweight model and if you are looking for a good handgun, whether it's for home defense or just a great range pistol, or you're looking for a concealed carry, I think that you ought to really take a look at the CZ line, because even though these aren't the polymer wonder guns, these are incredibly accurate and just very high quality pistols. Now the standard B model is one of my favorite guns to take to the range, but the size of course and the long slide, but that makes it more difficult to carry. Here we have the PCR, which is really lightweight but yet it still has the same features. Of course, we have an aluminum alloy frame, which is going to reduce the weight, which is the CZ75B has the full steel frame. The basic B model holds 16 rounds plus one in the chamber, and then your compact would hold 14 rounds and one in the chamber. So you're only losing about two rounds right up front. And the other bonus is you can take your full-size magazines and use them in the smaller pistol. Now, one thing while we have the hammer back, we're going to go ahead and we're going to decock it the PCR has the decocker, which I really like that for concealed carry because it is ready to go just like a double action revolver if I need to fire a quick shot. The B model has your basic uh, frame safety, which pulls up. You can carry this cocked and locked, just like the old 1911s. The CZ75B weighs 2 pounds and 3 ounces, while the PCR weighs 1 pound and 11 ounces. So you're getting a pretty good reduction in weight right off the bat. And of course, you can see right away that this is a smaller pistol. It's down here at the grip, which you have a smaller distance, which is not quite half an inch. And here we're looking at just under an inch difference between the PCR and the B model. The PCR is 7.24 inches, and the B model is 8.14 inches. So just under an inch in difference here. Otherwise, your dimensions are pretty close. Your barrel length here is just over four and a half inches. It's 4.6 inches. And then here on the PCR, the barrel length is 3.8 inches, so just under four inches. Of course, the accuracy on both of these is really exceptional. You're going to get a little bit of a sight radius here that makes it a little bit longer and easier to stabilize. Of course, accuracy is not quite as important as it is with a service pistol or a range pistol when you're carrying concealed. But this still has exceptional accuracy. The first uh, group that we were shooting at the range and uh, the accuracy was pretty tight. The second group was a lot better. And this is with the PCR, the compact, and it was about 10 yards. Both have hammer forged barrels. Now the grips are definitely a difference. Here on the B model, these are a molded plastic grip. These are actually pretty comfortable. The ergonomics of the CZ75 are one of the big things that really draw me to this pistol as well. And these plastic grips are, are actually pretty decent. But here on the PCR, we have a very nice rubberized grip with checkering, and it has some palm swells right here. So it really is comfortable to hold in the hand. Now, one of the things I like about CZ is how it's scalloped right here, and it comes up above the frame, so it gives you a lot of room. And then it's scalloped again right here at the front of the frame on the B model. On the PCR, you can see that it's scalloped as well, but you have a little more of a relief right here for your finger, and then here it's more squared off at the end of the frame. Now, while these are both polycoat finish, the CZ75 does come in a stainless version. They did offer a nickel and a two-tone with nickel and blue, but they've discontinued that since. So they also have a decocker model in the B, and they have a single action model in the B for competitive shooters. The PCR does only come with a decocker, but the standard CZ75 Compact, which is a steel frame, has the similar safety of the B model. And while the PCR only comes in 9mm, the CZ75 does come in 9mm and 40 Smith & Wesson. 
So if you're really looking for a good, high quality pistol, I want to suggest the CZ. You need to take a look at it. And then you also have your compact option. And there are also other CZ75 compact options on their website. So you can go check it out. And I'll have the links, of course, down below in the description. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. lighter yeah and it doesn't kick all that much more no a uh, high capacity pistol <laughs> so if you're looking for a really excellent high quality old school and I think he's dead he better be <laughs> don't make me reload my magazine <laughs>